Which one of history's good guys was actually a horrible person? Not necessarily a good guy, but got lots of positive attention from the release of The Greatest Showman apparently P.T. Barnum was a terrible person in real life. Ned Kelly is neat, because he seems to have recognized his anti-hero status. His actions were never morally right, but it's hard to say we haven't ever wanted to do the same. Steve Jobs was a bit of an ass. America's dad, Bill Cosby. In this thread, a lot of people who were never considered good guys. A shorter list would be, which of history's good guys were truly good guys and not later found out to be completed dollar dollar holes. Depends on what you mean, judging by today's standards I'd say most historical good guys were horrible people. Judging by the standards of their era, things become more complicated. This is a little more niche, but Bill Wilson, the founder of Alcoholics Anonymous, the guy did great things, and created a program of recovery that has saved millions of lives since its inception 85 years ago. He was also an arrogant asshole that cheated on his wife even in sobriety. Edit. This isn't here to scare away anyone that's trying to get sober. I've been sober thanks to AA for five and a half years. So don't let this keep you away if you're struggling with your drinking. There is a statue of Oliver Cromwell in London. Loads of movies about him and how he was a brave revolutionary. Nah, fuck that. He was an evil sociopath who committed genocide on Irish Catholics and turned the UK into a Puritan dictatorship. Joseph P. Kennedy, dad of John, Bobby, and Teddy had one of his daughters lobotomized. She was likely autistic but was considered an embarrassment to the family. Thomas Edison, biggest monopolist ever and took credit for other people's work. He didn't invent the light bulb but bought the rights and advanced it. He monopolized the film projector plus most films at the time and it took a very long lawsuit to get that fixed. He took many creations from his employees and put his name on it. This wasn't illegal because of the contracts employees signed at the time but it's not exactly a sign of goodwill. I don't hate the guy but his character is often completely exaggerated. Sir John A. Macdonald, first Prime Minister of Canada, did a lot for the country in its infancy but treated indigenous people like garbage. Astronomer here, this is a hard one to admit because I definitely loved his book and idolized his antics a bit when I was a young physics major. But Richard Feynman, a lot of people read Surely You're Joking, Mr. Feynman, and share my reaction, and his physics lectures are amazing. But the older I get and the more people I meet who knew him. Holy shit. The guy was beyond just times were different levels of misogyny against women he committed. Domestic violence against his wife. Kept lying to undergrads when he was in Cornell that he wasn't a professor so he could sleep with him. And, rumor has it, had to leave Cornell for Caltech because he slept with other faculty members' wives. And I've definitely heard a ton about him trying to pick up other scientists at physics conferences to know he was considered a creep. To be clear, I think someone can do good science and be an awful person. But that's not what Op was asking. Also, anyone who has been around a physics department knows that casual sexist jokes and the like are still not that uncommon today. And the fact that physics keeps idolizing Feynman probably doesn't help in changing the culture. Alexander Graham Bell this man did not invent the telephone. Several people were working on similar technology at the same time. Antonio Miucci invented it first. But there was a court case over who got the patent rights. Miucci died before the case was settled. And Graham Bell won the glory he didn't deserve. Ellen 
John Lennon, violent wife beater, vicious and hateful little shitbag. He used to scream at his baby boy when he was crying because it distracted him. Wrote Imagine, speaking about dreaming of no possessions. From his multi-million dollar condo overlooking Central Fucking Park in NYC. Didn't speak to George Harrison for months after he published his autobiography because it didn't. Praise Lennon quite enough for his taste. Absolute piece of shit. Most Australians think Captain Cook was a pretty good dude. I think the Aboriginals would say otherwise. Elvis Presley, he never wrote a song in his life. But his record label made any songwriters hand over half of their writing fees. Before Elvis would record their songs, he's credited as a co-writer on the majority of his songs. Most of them. I don't know about other countries. But in America schools tend to put historical figures on high pedestals. It would be better to be upfront about how people do good things and terrible things. Albert Speer, the good Nazi, constructed an elaborate narrative that he didn't know about the Holocaust, concentration camps, or slavery when he was the Minister of War Production, which was intimately involved in all three of those things. Due to him being an extremely effective liar, he wasn't called out on his bullshit until after he died, when the historical narrative was scrutinized. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Aircast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.